Hello, everyone. I have no idea how long you've been here without any audio, but it's nice. Well, I mean, that's about what you probably expect from these streams these days, hey? So. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Let me, uh, let me just check you do, in fact, have my audio. Yeah, you do. Good. All is good. But you don't have the game. We can, um, we can change that for you, though. That should bring you a game in the fullness of time. Let's see. Indeed it has. Very good. So, welcome to the stream. It is Harfest in the game this evening. A Harfestivus for the rest of us. When I was a kid, uh, I watched a lot of Seinfeld, or rather, my dad watched a lot of Seinfeld, and um, being the 90s, we had one TV in the house, so that means everyone watched a lot of Seinfeld. But it's not like it was um, a bad show. Probably a lot of it has aged. Um, not so great. But I haven't watched it recently. So I don't know about those parts. Uh, tonight, I'm probably going to stream short because I am quite tired. I have no idea why. Um, as I said in the chat, prior to starting the stream. I blame Monday, uh, even though it is in fact Tuesday, but Monday comes before Tuesday, so. And I mean, even if it's Wednesday or Thursday, you can say that, um, you know, it was it was Monday, the, the start of the week that caused the situation you're in, right? And then so on and so forth until it comes around to the next Monday, probably Saturday and Sunday, you wanna blame, um, you wanna blame dread of the next coming Monday, but uh, everything else is fine. Gopher says Garfield streamer. I'm co oh right. <laughs> I was about to say I, I'm confused, but then I realised that uh, no, that's a very obvious link, right? <laughs> Jane, where is that emote from? What is this Garfield emote? Oh, it's Joel's. Amazing, fantastic. Thank you for bringing it to us here at this stream. I'm going to start the game now. I have soup. Soup on stove made of leftover vegetables. So that's my look forward to after after stream meal today. All right, we I think we did this before um before I finished last time, right? Check the internet. All right, what does May have to say about herself this time? Oh yeah, normal clothes. The same clothes that she's worn every day since getting back, mind you. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. <gasps> oh my god. Sweet. That is very spooky. I love it. Witch Dagger. Is this like a band that she likes? I can't tell. Dude, that's so cute. <laughs> like, no sleep. Half fast. Okay. Check the internet again. Do you continue to have nothing to say? Hello, Cheese. How are you doing? Ari, you have fish and chips? Amazing. Posted behind the mirror. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, but she's put like the... Wait, no, no. If the photo is taken... Is the photo, like, no, 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 the photo is, she's got the hat, the dagger through the wrong way, right? Oh, jeez, you're right. This is the perfect outfit for impromptu knife fights. Indeed. So, uh, last, last stream, we learned that May's, uh, May's family is not super good at supporting her emotional development. And now it's Halloween. <laughs> and that sums up the progress in the game that I made in the last stream. I think my last stream of this was short too. Maybe it's uh, this time of year tiring me out a bit. Hey, I didn't say go down. Excuse me. Nope, I can't jump, which means I can't like get over there. Alright. So far. So far? So far? What am I even saying? 
Gopher says she hates streaming. No. I enjoy streaming. But streaming... I was about to say doesn't enjoy me, but that doesn't make any sense. Hello, Valestian. How are you? All right. Hello? Hmm. They must already be out. Harfest. I have uh, a Mandarin again. I've gone past the uh, the point in my streaming career where I mute to eat, so um, enjoy some orange eating ASMR. Hello, Skelly. You have important news. Please inform us. Hey, it's these guys. Harfest! Dude, that's cute. Oh, look, she she messed up one of them, so she scribbled it out. Skelly today learned the earth-shattering fact that the patron saint of Glasgow is Saint Mungo. Saint Mungbean. Oh, look, they've got like a, 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 a marching band. This is cool. Pumpkin. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? We've got. Babies, babies riding with adult. We've got fire truck. We've got farmer bringing giant pumpkin. And we've got marching band. Nice. Well, let's just says, wasn't there a St. Mungo in Harry Potter? I think there was, right? There, wasn't it the hospital name? St. Mungo's, something like that? Fortune or Splashin? I'm going to go Fortune first. Dare you spin? Spin? What is my mouth doing? Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? What happened was I got to spin and my eyes had gone forward to wheel. So what I actually tried to say was, dare you spiel the win of destiny? Go to St. Mungo's Bungo. Hey. What is this profanity in my chat? Chat's spinning merrily away. Very good. Do we dare? You bet we dare. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the sooth? The sooth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. What is this bar on the left? Is your arm injured? It's a little sore lately, actually. I was, I've been doing these knife fights with my mate out in the woods. It's, uh, yeah, got a little pain going on still from that. I could tell, I see all. Your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be forever. Oh yeah, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall know many troubles even until the end of your days. Oh. Yup. I feel like that's just everyone's life. Everyone's got problems. How is this a fortune? The cards do not lie! The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable! So this is unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor! All right then. Very good. Our fortune is a bird head with six knives around it. Very exciting. What else have we got in the chat? G 
Cheese, I'm going to extend your comment and say the sooth, the whole sooth, and nothing but the sooth, right? Skell, you've tried to find the etymology of the name Mungo, but in the five to ten minutes that you dedicated to this task, you could not find any earlier references. My goodness. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how saints are named. Like, are they, do they, are they given a Latin name when they become a saint? Oh, look, a little boar kid. Nice. Let's do splash him. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. Oh, I can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, terrible at leading my shots, don't worry about it. Hey, I got him a little bit. Okay, he goes that way. Hey, whoa, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit, and I've been hit. Gonna haunt you for that. I'm extremely cold and wet. Ah! Oh, it's someone else. This is all like the, the town council members, right? Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Ah! Which way will I go next? Oh shit, I hit the nose. Oh my gosh. Ouch! I'm gonna hex you up! Ah! Yeah, it's my fault. That was... Oh god, that was... Greed. Greed and not paying attention. Ah! Alright, here we got Pumpkin this time. Oops, I'm the Pumpkin. You hit me, the Pumpkin. You got me, the Pumpkin. Wet. Uh, I don't need to hear about that, Mr. Pumpkin. I am, well, I, mean, I guess I'm not really a miner, but I still don't want to hear about it. Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin. I'm freezing now. The pumpkin is freezing. Whoop. Hey, I hit her nose. Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Oh, now they're still? <gasps> Sneaky. Oh my gosh, this one's hard. Okay. Clickety clack, you hit my bones. Clunkety clunk, that tickled my funny bone. Clickety clink, I'm all wet. Oh no. Oh no, now it's all of them? Okay. Well, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business. And enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more like... Kathleen, no. More like Austin Springs. Okay, we're done. Amazing. Chat, write that joke in chat. We've got a minus two. A plus one and a 77 out of 10. Um, I'm not quite sure how to average that, but it's pretty okay, I think chat has said. Yes, Skelly, it was you. Right. Yeah. I'm going to wait for this um, truck to pass so that I can look at everyone. Can you go up the steps on the right? No, I can't. Or uh, I'll, tr I'll, I'll try again, but last I checked, no, I could not. Yeah, we're like locked into this area. I don't even know if I can go like down here. No, I can't go down there either. Dude, this poor lady must have like just walked out of um, work, right? This is where she works. 
she's just walked out of work. And she's like, oh god, that's right, this is on tonight. It's going to take me forever to get home. And there's, okay, so that's B's place. Can we keep going this way? No, okay. I guess we've got to go to B's place. B is best girl. Hey, hey. Watch up to. Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harvest Harfest pageant. All right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. You think? Oh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to this, to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now? It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Do you think we're going to be winging it, chat? Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Chat thinks uh, we're going to be improvising it. Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, besides with a uh, witch a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Hmm. Ho, oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. <laughs> Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts. To warm my ancient bones. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. <laughs> I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Yee hee hee hee! I was born among these trees, neath the harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> Okay. 
Are you going to skip to the end, or is this just like the next act? Oh, it's the next act. Okay. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, it's Greg. Oh, no. Ah, uh, um, ah, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwounds! We camp by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart! Eee -hee -hee! A curse upon rude young men! <laughs> Oh, that was the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize that um, there was a right and a wrong answer because I accidentally picked the right ones previously. <laughs> That's not... Um. She has cursed the spring and now I shall die. Wow. I am also undone for I have drank of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. <laughs> Intermission. Time to eat a piece of orange. It's a Mandarin, but I know, I don't know, for some reason my like language center gets broken when, um, when I'm streaming and bits of non-standard Australian English end up in it, like calling Mandarins Mandarin oranges, or as Gopher says, fruit ornage. Orange name. Mm -hmm. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that which know what she hath done? Ah. Uh. Um, crap. What? Sure, ghost. It spooks, right? For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full? And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? Dude, who's this? I don't even know who this is. Who is this guy? I don't remember who this guy is. Have we seen this guy? We've seen this guy, right? Oh, he was the janitor. He was the janitor at the very start. I remember him now. You. From the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. I uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So. Witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to wander into the night through the stranger places. Oh, God. H how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest God, thou hast no power here. <laughs> Even now thy end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers! 
Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo! Take care. What do you think, chat? Should I become a voice actor? And so it was founded this, then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline. And now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here. Who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. <laughs> Yep, title drop. There was a title drop in the um in the janitor speech. Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I am going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh, what are you doing, B? Chamber of Comex folks going out to the buffet by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Oh boy, is that the truth. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. What the fuck? What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. Not controlling by the way, chat. <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit! Now I am controlling. Well, at least she's armed. The fuck is this? May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now. Police being very useful. <sighs> okay. No jump, no run, only walk. Jane says, I completely forgot there was a murder mystery going on. Well, see, the thing is, there was... We got a potential other explanation. We got semi, like, japed on that, I think, because we talked to the little rat boy... And he was like, oh, I like to make prosthetics. <laughs> like, like not prosthetics, like props. Props for horror movies. And he was kind of sitting above where we found the arm. So we were like, oh, it was never an arm. It was a prop. Um, but 
uh, yeah, now we, you're quite likely to be um, actually an arm now, I think, actually. Yeah, Cheese, I agree. Like, Aunt Molly is seemingly pretty cavalier about the whole kidnapping thing. But I think that's uh, kind of the point. Like, either, either there's conspiracy, right? Conspiracy is possible. But it could also be the, um, the devs just trying to be like, police sure are helpful in situations like this, aren't they? I need to get up and like stir my soup, but uh, I'm afraid if I stay in this area for too long, oh shit, control is rumbling like crazy. Can't do anything, can't move. What the heck? Is that a dream? Part three, the long fall. Yeah, Skelly, I know what you mean. It's quite likely, right, that she just doesn't take, um, she doesn't take uh, May seriously. All right, chat, you can, like, consider sunlight for a moment. I need to go stir the soup. Be right back. I have returned. The soup is going well. I'm sure you're all very interested to hear that information. What has chat thought about sunlight? Let's see. The sun. Very fascinating indeed. And a few nice bunga pleases. Very good. What kind of soup? I wanted to get rid of some various vegetables. I had like an old sad looking leek and I had some old sad looking potatoes. So I made leek and potato soup with some bacon in it. And what was the other thing I put in it? Beans. I put cannellini beans in it. And I've like um, stick stick blended it. So it's um, just big, big soup liquid. Sad leek and sad spud soup. Yes, it's a sadness soup. Sadness soup. Vlestian, there's a, an entire album by a musician called Susumu Hirasawa. He did a whole album from a solar powered studio. That is very cool. Go for your Angie. Why? Why Angie? Explain. <laughs> Explain anger while I check the internet. Where's my controller? Here it is. You got crashed out of first place. Oh, you're playing F1? Holy shit. Dude. Dude. Dude, the Hungarian Grand Prix. What the fuck happened there? Holy shit. In fact, you sent me a meme, right? You sent me a meme that was like critics critics will say that critics will say that online F1 racing is unrealistic and then it's just like 
a picture of the turd one crash out of the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's like, yep. What's the difference? They're the same picture. This has been your your irregularly scheduled um, F1 rant from your friendly neighborhood streamer. The Hungarian Grand Prix was, was crazy. Like, it was like watching bowling pins. They all, like, crashed into each other. And, like, two or three people managed to steer a path through that. And those, like, two or three people, like, ended up, like, being the top five people in the race. It was crazy. Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. <laughs> Struggle. Skelly says Hirasawa is borderline madman. Amazing. Oh, shit. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Go for how, like, far through the race were you, by the way? Oh, I forgot that I could do that. Last lap. Oh! <laughs> that sucks. Do, 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 do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it very close. I think she's a bit spooked about last night, chat. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Honestly, I don't feel like it after the shit you gave us yesterday. So, um, it better not be the same or I'm not coming and saying hello again until you fix your attitude. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff and didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mum. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mum. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. 
They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. Uh, some, some worry, though? Some worry? Probably some worry is appropriate? Holy shit. Screw those people, though, that offered a predatory loan. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. All right. There's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Can't solve a murder without one. Okay, so I have a question. What else is in the room? Normal stuff. Refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Look at May's eyes. She's like... Knives. No knife wounds, though. All right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Ha <laughs> ha, that's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pick of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Why is there like a dead body next to her mom there? Maybe it's just because uh, I don't think uh, she'd drawn her mom down before, right? This is the first time she drew mom. Maybe because then I never spoke to mom enough to start talking about um, book. I'm still learning roadworks, okay. Music's so nice. Oh, it's Selmas. You got a poem for us today, Selmas? How's it going, Selmas? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in, ate candy, and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up. What? 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 Why specifically autumn? Also, since when do Americans know the words autumn? In November. Oh, I see, because it happens in Novembers. Novembers, yes. Only in the multiple Novembers. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Does, does it though? Holy shit. Let's see. Oh shit. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go track and mud all over it. Did I like... 
proc his dialogue before I fell down, but it can't, like, say while I'm mid in mid-air, so it waited for me to hit the ground. I guess it did. Gopher says, for that kind of crime, it's too hot in summer and too cold in winter. I guess. People in the States say autumn? Really? Use autumn and fall interchangeably? Why? Why do you have two words? I'm so confused right now. I I did not know that Americans used autumn. Eating a piece of mandarin, don't mind me. Oh, the half S thing is gone now. I'm gonna go talk to Bruce. I'm about to probably finish the stream in like 10 15 minutes i am uh, feeling a little better after the orange but still feeling very tired so why can't i stop saying orange it's like how people say both restroom and bathroom i guess i don't feel right about it I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something. When folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. That's because you're a good person. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with all the gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. But torn a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time... Where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Let's see if the mystery teens are out here again. Go for what did I say that made you say monkey brain? I was reading that conversation and completely forgot everything that was happening before that. Was it about bathrooms? Monkey brain, see orange. Monkey brain, say orange. You're right. Now I want pizza. I haven't had pizza in such a long time. Yum. Pizza. But no. I have delicious leftover sadness soup. Jane says, now I want pizza. Jane, isn't it like 5.30 in the morning for you? Hey, hey, church mum. Hey, 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 heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. 1.42 a.m. <laughs> but he attends and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. 
You do work for the church. That's not what faith is, hon. What faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Here we go. Get through in the back yet? Nope. Herp! 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 Good jumping noises. Oh, is this lady that wanted to quit? Okay, I'm gonna eat orange. You guys, you guys can read this. I'm glad she got um, to change jobs like she wanted. I hope it works out for her. Well, ain't this the truth? War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff, stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'd be awesome. I, uh, I don't. I don't know if I. Uh... Oh look possibilities is like it's it's things are up like the things are down is someone moving in <sighs> probably something dumb i miss you pizza place cat look it's a human cat and non-human cat walk together gov says the anti-war group will wage a war on the war groups yet yeah, seems so Skelly suggests that May would be exempt from the draft on mental stability grounds. Maybe, maybe just general health reasons too. I'm pretty sure that um, that I would be exempt from any kind of like military draft for a number of different reasons. Like my eyes are shit, my joints are shit, and I've got mental health in my history, so. <laughs> up the band practice in a bit. I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Be nice. Too many stab wounds on hands for me. Uh, they might uh, look a little bit like... So, uh, how'd you get all those marks on your hands? Gopher says you're exempt from the draft because a draft is enough to hurt your sinuses. <laughs> Yes, that too. Like, I can wear headphones for like 30 minutes. Like, on some days, I wear headphones for 30 minutes and I get an earache. They'd have to put me in logistics or something, except I'm shit at that too, because I'm poorly organized. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Do they? Have to? Go smelters. Go 
Perry for that. that was a clever joke. I like that joke. They'll put me in the streaming division. You say that, you say that, but chances are if they can't use someone for anything else and that person can write, they will probably end up in propaganda, right? If they have to, like, if it's required that you do something. Hey, dude. H hey, you, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Belly. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. I think we should report this place. Jane, you were made to sign up for drafting if there ever is one. Even though technically you should be banned. That sounds so weird. And yeah, you you need insulin, right? That's uh, I don't know if that's a sensible decision on their part. <laughs> Hey! What's up, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cup? You'll never half catch me, half cuppa! <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You at a harvest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? I know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him all out there all by himself. Aw, oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah. I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover. Hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh, yeah, like that Doom shit, right? da 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 -ga. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could see this dude. I could kind of see this dude. Take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill. Like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah! I am so upset right now. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? See ya! Germ just being germ. Good stuff. What were you doing out here last night? No hello? No hi? No how are you feeling? Just what were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone. Like, a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six kills about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this, this right here. This is a report. 
May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I get you. Ugh. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. Holy shit, May. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No. Yes, I, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. All right, I think that's a good place to end the stream. Let me check the chat before I do that. I've been reading for a while. Got some rollies, very cute. Gopher asks, how is being made to sign up for the draft any different from being involuntarily drafted? Why not just draft people when they need it, then, instead of having a pre-draft draft? That is very convoluted. Maybe it's to like, maybe it's like there's like some terms and conditions or something on it. So it's like, you can't say that you didn't know about it or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but it's, it's dumb. It is dumb. Yeah, Arya mentions at least she did check. She checked, she went up and she checked. There just wasn't anything there. All right. I'm tired and I have soup waiting for me. So apologies. This is a short stream and we're gonna call it here. I will be back on Friday, I think. What's Friday? Yes, I'll be back on Friday. Oh, Chad, I forgot to tell you, I'm very excited. I finally got my first vaccination booked in, but it's not for six weeks um, because Australia is being shitty like that. So um, it is actually on a Friday though. <laughs> so like mid-September, you might not have a Friday stream at some point, but I'm excited. Okay, on that nice note, I'm gonna go eat my soup. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, morning, day, time, existence until we see each other again with more Ghost in the Woods title drop. See you later, guys. Bye.